Hi, I'm Brian here at Can Lions 2013, and I'm the founder and CEO of Keep. I think we're still, you know, in the first inning of like a 10 inning ball game, but uh, you know, I think, you know, one of the things that happened earlier this year is uh, Interpublic Group, one of the big four ad holding companies made an investment in us and uh, it's part of our B round of 11 million. And I think at that point, just getting that validation, mind you, the last investment that IPG made was with Facebook at $200 million. So obviously it was a different dollar amount, but I was like, this is um, very exciting that the, the, the proper players in the ecosystem are taking notice and, you know, things since then absolutely has been going on a skyrocket type of pace. I think, you know, when we look at the, just the, the, the ubiquity of it, that's obviously the, the, the number one. But I think what's interesting is marketers are now starting to have more of a sense of the emotional context behind why mobile is important. This is actually kind of a lot of what we do, which is how do we take when someone is happy and behind that screen and realizing at the end of the day there's a human being there. Uh, and make that worth something and actually respect it. So I think that's a big piece of it. And marketers, now that they're seeing that and they're, they're, they're not being about how to interrupt, but rather how do I help, um, we're seeing a lot more power come out of it. So we look at mobile in a series of moments is what we describe it as, right? You know, when you're using your phone, you're gonna have gaming moments, fitness moments, productivity moments, you name it. So having an understanding of the moments that you truly want to own, right? Morning moments, you name it. So a fitness moment would be perfect for like a Gatorade, for example. And a morning moment would be perfect for a Tropicana, right? And so when you think about that, how do we meaningfully work with them in that moment? As a consumer, I'm using my phone because I want it to do something for me. I didn't use my phone because I wanted advertising, right? So understanding that that unwanted flow can actually translate into something very useful is something that I hope agencies and brands can think about alike. But knowing that because it's a human device and that it's very, it's, you know, people always complain that the small mobile screen is very limiting in terms of real estate. But I think it's one of the most intimate devices we've ever owned as a human race. What that actually means is it's one of the best opportunities for brands to connect even more closely with their consumers on an emotional level, which is at the end of the day what they all care about. How do I help my brand feel better for you? People think I'm like a, you know, a doom, doomsday type of guy for banner ads, you know, death to banner ads. I think as long as we still have eyeballs, display and banners and out of home will still exist. What I'm saying is that there's actually another way as well. We're introducing this element that Yes, you don't have to be a consumer that accepts the fact that, okay, if I want free content, I'm gonna have to take you know, the abuse of a particular type of advertising, right? And I was talking about it in my talk, you know, you have this, this crisis now where you have these apps where you have the option to pay you know, $1.99 to remove ads. Right, there's tons of very highly talented people employed in this industry and yet you have a dynamic now where millions of people every day are paying to remove you. Yeah. And so how do we change that and how do we make it so that now that we know on the phone it's with you, there's a way to reward, there's a way to reciprocate. How do we do that at scale and I hope that that's a dynamic that will help introduce something new but not rather eradicate but complement what's already happening in the ecosystem. I think one of the things that Silicon Valley doesn't really know that it has is yes there's a lot of technology behind what we create but you have to remember a lot of it's very design oriented, very uh, uh, creatively driven because as a whole process a lot of the tools we use in many ways are very accessible. You, you, anybody can log on to GitHub and grab open source code snippets and you know hobble together something but it's looking at the user experience, it's looking at the why. You know, why is this so important? That's really how creatives do think a lot about things sometimes is, you know, what is the why? What is the purpose of what we've created? And, and you know, the, the way it looks is just one piece of the big puzzle. And I think uh, the way that uh, entrepreneurs in the tech space have grow, grown their companies have really paid attention to that as well. And, and I think in advertising, this is even more evident because you have people who fully embrace, typically younger, you know, new technologies, new platforms, they jump right in. And within no time, they become this uh, notable figure, right, within the ecosystem. And I think what's beautiful about this is, yes, the, the type of dynamic you see in advertising today does promote that. You have the younger innovators, you have the young lions, you have these things that really put them on a pedestal, and I'm very excited that that's happening. And only more so possible because technology is letting you kind of jump into it and actually have the power to make something very real happen without needing to have necessarily all the strong, sort of older, sort of rooted relationships that the older side of media used to have.